Thank you for coming so soon. I'll send for Commander Aldin at once, and we can decide what to do about these infernal towers. Ah, present! It can't be. You're here, good. Well, 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 to be received by such an illustrious cast. <gasps> Why? Even the hero of the peace is here. I feel quite starstruck. Is that... a sigh? His body more like. You don't fool us. Oh! You saw straight through it. Anyone would think you dealt with Asians before. Permit me to introduce myself. I am Van Daniel. And may I say what a pleasure it is to finally make your acquaintance. My, straight to business is it? Suit yourself. It is my intention to recreate the final days. To which end I have distributed a collection of rather ingenious devices, or towers, which will, in time, give rise to the grandest of spectacles. The final days? But it was the Asians who labored to prevent them. You're quite right, though I would expect no less from one responsible for eliminating my unsundered colleagues. Honestly, the three of them were obsessed with restoring the one true world. As a sovereign individual, however, I never had much interest in such things. I mean, why bother when you're just another sundered minion? Admittedly, Elidibus was not convinced by that argument, but thanks to you, I'm finally free of his incessant nagging. Free to use my powers as I see fit, to fulfill my heart's desire. And my heart's desire is to lay this half-broken world to waste leaving nary a fleck of dust behind! What? Why would you want such a thing? Because I want wretched creatures who ask such meaningless questions to die! You! And you! And you! I want you all to die! And I want to die too! Oh, yes! I want to die and take everyone with me in a paroxysm of pain and suffering! I'm different, you see, from the ancients who clung to dear life and from you. So don't bother trying to reason with me. You will find I have no reason or creed, or any such tripe. I just want to destroy the world. But please do resist with all your might. It will add to my enjoyment. Now then, ladies and gentlemen, keep your eyes peeled, for the curtains have risen on the spectacle to end all spectacles. We the Telophoroi shall be your performers and this very star our stage.
nearly forgot. I have a message for you. <clears throat> My esteemed patron, Lord Xenos, eagerly awaits you at the heart of the chaos. While I wish only to destroy the world, he exists solely to relive a certain, hmm, transcendent moment with you. And it is for that reason he would reduce all to ash. Pray see to it his dreams do not go unfulfilled. For if you should disappoint him, my trusty companion here, whom I have dubbed Luna Bahamut, will burn your cities and everyone in them. Sent to the blaze.
Scouts should have been back by now. I'm gonna go and find them. Oh, thank goodness for that. The piles have been driven as planned, and the first of the beasts has roared to life. Moreover, I am pleased to report that preparations are well underway for the rest. Ere long, chaos shall reign over all the land, as befits the final day. Call it what you will, so long as my friend returns to me, fangs bared and claws sharpened. I care not. Of course, my lord. By strange coincidence, your dear friend chanced to be present when I made my declaration. I took the liberty of informing her that you await her coming, though I confess, I may have singed her a little in the process. And why do you tell me this? Are you in such a hurry to die? Ah, oh, my apologies. I must guard my tongue, lest it be the end of me. Though, there is something to be said for such a glorious death. Better to fall to one who has it all, than falter before an inferior. Huh. I shall keep it in mind as a contingency. For now, however, I shall proceed with the plan. My lord. I must find myself a new weapon. One worthy of our long-awaited reunion.